Hey everyone, welcome back to the 5 a.m. pop-up. It has been a long, long time. Uh, we were busy publishing the book, so we took a brief hiatus, but we're back now, and we're gonna cover how to make a pop-up book, lesson number two, and we're gonna cover angle folds today. So come on. Okay, we're ready. Uh, first step, just go to messypopup.com, and go to the freebies section, there is a PDF called Lesson 2, V-Fold, and Acute V-Fold. Um, and just go ahead and, and download that PDF, print it out, and you can print it on uh, just regular printer paper or cardstock. Either one will work uh, for this lesson. <clears throat> so after that, we're going to go ahead and just make our cuts, which, which are the solid black line. And then we're going to make folds on the dotted lines. Don't worry about these right now. I'm going to make my folds with a bone folder, and I'm going to make my cuts with an X-Acto blade. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, after our cuts are made, we're going to go ahead and make our first fold on our angle fold here. So we're going to save this for later. That's our cute angle fold. We're going to do that in a bit. So we're just going to go ahead and fold this one for now. So I like to take it and put it this direction. Okay, and I'm going to fold towards me. Put my hand under here and kind of keep my thumb in the crease there. I'm going to put my hand on the underside of that and kind of push this out as I fold down. I'm going to keep this here too so it can keep in the, in the crease. So my finger's pushing that out as I'm folding this down. There we go. Crease it. We're a little off. There we go. And now you have an angle fold. Okay, remember this attachment? I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And I just wanna show you here, this is the exact same size as that angle fold there, okay? What we're gonna do, we're gonna bring it down here, and there's a lot of guides here, and they're there for a reason. So the gray is our placement guide for our tabs, okay? The red is where that paper is going to be placed and then that orange color that's where um, this this angle used to be before we brought it in so let me show you real quick so if we just lay that down here what we're doing we're just bringing it in slightly to about there okay and we're gonna do it on both sides and the reason for that is now this will stay popped up all the time okay so either take some glue or double-sided tape and place it there on your tab. Uh, for extra strength, what you can also do is cut out, cut that that red line and slide this in through the back. Uh, that'll give you some extra strength in your pop-up. We're just going to paste it here for now. So all I'm going to do is just place it right there on that red line. Okay, I'm just worried about one side right now. Not worried about the left side at all. So I'm just going to place it down. I'm off a tiny bit, but that's okay because we're going to let the paper make up for it. So now to place it on the other side, what I do is I fold it back over and I'm going to fold it on itself. Okay? There we go. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and just I put some double sided tape there. I'm just going to go ahead and close this up. It. And there you go. Now you have an acute angle fold. You can see since I was off a little bit here, you can see that it was off of this placement, which is totally fine because now um, the paper placed it where it needs to be without any tearing. If I had placed it right there on that red line, we might have some pull and some tear on your paper. So now you have two angle folds. One's, an, one's a, a V fold angle. And then this is an acute V-fold. So I'm going to add some attachments to it real quick just to show you the two different uh, motions you can get with it. Okay, uh, to best illustrate the, the different uh, V-fold and angle folds we have here, um, I just cut out some, some quick attachment pieces. So these two I just kind of cut at random. Um, and then I made two pieces of art and we're going to use those later. So I'm just going to push those aside. Um, and let's start with our first angle fold. Put a little bit of double-sided tape here. 
I just want to show you, this is where you can kind of play with your angle and figure out um, how much motion you want in your pop-up. So I'm just going to kind of randomly place it there and look at the kind of angle I get, or motion I get, which I get a lot. Like it's coming up out of the page up here at the top and it's moving across all of, all of this uh, left side. So that's pretty good. If I wanted it to go higher, you can kind of work with the placement, move it up there, look at that there, okay? And then that gets real high and can be hidden right here, okay? So you'd have a shorter um, pop-up. So I'm, I'm going to go back and, and do this original placement and place it right here. I like to make these long so then when I close it up, I can see where it's sticking out, okay? So I know right there. So I'm going to go ahead and make cut there. And now I know the maximum size I can have for my pop-up, okay? So then I'm going to go ahead and, and put the attachment on. And I know right here is will start sticking out of the paper, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and place it maybe like right here. And then we can kind of clean up our our pop-up or our attachment. Now it can look like soccer balls being kicked. There you go. You have that attachment there. You got a lot of motion. Okay. And then our second angle fold are acute. So you can give a, di a different different feel. We're not going to get as much motion but it's gonna be very dimensional. So I use these a lot for if you want some kind of uh, standing structure when it pops up. So I'm just gonna randomly place it there. Get it, we're sticking out here. As you can see, we get some motion, but it really, it's coming right out at you. So there, there's where you can use an acute angle. So I'm just gonna cut there. our basketball right there too. Okay. There you go. So that's two two ways to use an angle fold. Give you two different results. Alright. Thanks for um, checking out lesson two. Um, lesson three will be coming soon. Thanks.